On the 13th of March, a Twitter user named Tyler uploaded a video about a mysterious voicemail he received. I'm gonna play the video for you and then go through his posts. Pay close attention. Sierra, Delta, Alpha, November, Gal, Echo, Romeo, Sierra, Oscar, Sierra, India, Tango, India, Sierra, Delta, India, Romeo, Echo, Foxtrot, Oscar, Romeo, Yankee, Oscar, Uniform, Tango, Oscar, Echo, Victor, Alpha, Charlie, Uniform, Alpha, Tango, Echo, Bravo, Echo, Charlie, Alpha, Uniform, Tango, India, Oscar, Uniform, Sierra, Tango, Hotel, Echo, Yankee, Alpha, Romeo, Echo, November, Oscar, Tango, Hotel, Uniform, Mike, Alpha, November, 0429339642300 Sierra Oscar Sierra Delta Alpha November Gal Echo Romeo Sierra Oscar Sierra The message in the voicemail appears to be sent through something called the phonetic alphabet it is often used by the military or police forces to spell out a message when talking over the radio when it is too hard to understand what is being said. Basically, taking the first letter of each word should spell out a message. And Tyler figured this out. It literally translates to danger SOS. It is dire for you to evacuate. Be cautious. They are not human. SOS. Danger. SOS. And then gives coordinates. I am throwing my phone away. A user then asks, wait, what are the coordinates? Some place on the coast of Indonesia, I don't even know. Later on, Tyler receives a message from a user with a seemingly random name and in a different language. When translated, the message turns into, end the post you just shared about the recording on your phone. Tyler then posted, okay, I'm sitting in my car right in front of my house, in my car, and this guy started taking pictures of my house with flash. Then he walked away. Literally, what the fuck, it's 3am, I am going to die tonight. Also, I should probably include that this happened a few days ago before I got that voicemail. I really am about to go into hiding. Soon after, a user named Uzumaki came up with a pretty interesting theory. This is what it says, pay close attention that there's an S right before danger, meaning that the recording is on a continuous loop, it's not a message set to play once it goes to voicemail. Also, someone pointed out that the coordinates given are very close to where the Malaysian airplane went down. What if you're hearing the black box recording? And a black box records the last interactions with a plane. That's why it's an SOS and save our ship. It was trying to warn us. Also, and this is just to add on my theory because a black box records an audio message, it also records flight information as well, which is why it gives coordinates. This is where it gets a little far more out. It's an unknown number. Now an unknown number isn't always a block number. A computer will still read it as unknown. This is also all happening after two large solar flares were just released causing a soon to be solar storm. And if you don't know, they cause electromagnetic pulses in our atmosphere. So with more electromagnetic activity in the air, this is why random people would be getting this call because the signal would be amplified and sent to further ranges. With the solar flares happening closer to southern Asia, Australia, this is why it's happening now. A user then asks, if these black box recordings match the voicemail, are you saying that Malaysia Flight 370 encountered something non-human? To which Yuzumaki responds, This is great of you guys to ask, because this part is gonna get really fucking crazy. Yes, they encountered something non-human. The message was saying to evacuate because they are not human. Something or someone on that plane wasn't human. Later on, Tyler then posted a few screenshots of messages he received. Can someone translate this? I just woke up and I'm too tired to do it. But even though they're probably fake, this is still kind of funny that I'm getting messages like this.
This is most of the Morse code translation. Message received is well related to Stephen Hawking's death. You are not ready to face them. Stephen Hawking did say something bad was going to happen to the world in 2018. Another user by the name of Kai tweeted in response to Tyler. I got the same thing when my boyfriend called me and he couldn't hear it but I could. The message in Kai's voicemail translates to not human followed by a number and then SOS. A YouTuber tried calling the number and got this result. That's an emergency. Hang up and dial 911. For directory assistance, hang up and dial 411. For difficulty making or completing calls, hang up and dial star 611. For alternate billing of a call, hang up and dial 1-800-COLLECT. Announcement 15, switch to 8-6. <laughs> Although the result looks interesting, there are quite a few comments debunking this. These are coordinates. I have seen messages like this before, it's pretty normal. Also completely normal that it hangs itself up. I've worked with both Samsung and Verizon. Normally those messages are deployed when there are too many digits. Investigating this further leads us to the user that sent Tyler the threat earlier. His first post was made on the 15th of March, the day he also joined Twitter. The message is translated from Arabic into warning, they are coming. A video was also posted containing the same pattern as seen in previous voicemails. The message in this one translates to emergency 41818. What all these posts have in common is the numbers at the end 41818, which is actually a date 18th of April 2018. The last tweet posted by the account so far translates to They're coming in 4 weeks. Prepare yourselves. Following the account, another user attempted to decode his posts. Another user named Gabrielle replied to Tyler saying, This is one of the accounts that DM'd you. I'm scared. Following up with a video. I reversed the audio in the clip as it was obviously playing backwards and this is what I got. Following up on the audio in the clip, it sounds like a transmission of the Malaysia Flight 370. On its wiki page, it says Lampa radar is the name of the frequency used for in route air traffic. Lampa radar cleared flight 370 to flight level 350. Flight 370's crew reported to Lampa radar that they had reached flight level 350, which they confirmed again. An external video is linked on the wiki page called Sounds from Inside Flight 370's Cockpit. I'm only gonna play a portion of the clip and I want you to pay close attention and see if you spot anything suspicious. Lampo Control, Malaysian uh, 370. Malaysian 370, Lampo Radar, good morning. Climb flight level 250. Good morning, level 250, Malaysian uh, 370. Malaysian 370, climb flight level 350. Climb level 350, Malaysian uh, 370. Malaysian uh, 370, maintaining level 350. Malaysian 370. If you haven't noticed, the clip I just showed you contains the exact audio as the one in the Twitter post. This is the first major step in debunking this mystery. This concludes that the anonymous user that DM Tyler downloaded a public YouTube video, reversed its audio and uploaded it. 
Now, this isn't enough evidence to prove that this whole thing is fake. As far as we know, anyone could make a fake account and upload spooky reverse videos. And by the looks of it, the account doesn't match the one that first threatened Tyler, but it's still worth looking into. Moving on, another user posted this. The same account that posted the reversed audio earlier uploaded a QR code. After using an online scanner, the code translates to this. So, after a full investigation into the mysterious user, who will now call April666, this is all the encrypted messages he posted. You may not find 370, but you can find what caused it, go 370. And you don't have to find who caused it. They will thus find you. They are not different beings. They are within us. Please don't mistake them as other beings that are you, but related, unrelated. You are gonna choose yourself. You're gonna find off and find a cosmos being. The reason I am sending the earth beings this message is because I am disguising myself from your ancestors. Hence, this is a final goodbye. A reddit user then posted another screenshot of a message Tyler appears to be receiving, which translates to All will die, dispel the bad. According to reddit, April666 renamed its account to Cicada370. Unfortunately, the account was taken down, but using the Wayback Machine I was able to find it. Most posts contain encrypted messages. Luckily for us, a lot more QR codes are present. The first one reveals a website called planecrashinfo.com. The second one leads to a forum called UFO Casebook, which is a huge topic regarding the missing plane. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, as it would take days just reading everything. The third QR code leads us to this picture. The account also uploaded two pictures, one containing a YouTube link. Upon copying, it would lead us to this video. Notice the date in the title. The uploader, named County Bluff, has a series of ARG-like videos on his channel, most of them relating to weather. But I think this is where we need to pause the whole thing. Do you even remember where we started? Every clue is just gonna lead us to another clue, and another, and another. We don't have the right amount of evidence to confirm this is fake yet, but most of the information we got from mysterious users were public videos played in reverse in coded messages often used in this type of alternate reality games, and a lead to a whole different topic, Cicada 3301. I feel like we've covered a lot of ground here, and I'm thrilled to see what you guys have to say about it. I am hoping more evidence shows up. This might not be over yet. I will see you soon.